Hi everybody, it's Renee Henderson. I am the PSP coordinator here in Niederhide and I'm also the chalet coordinator. So today I am here to give you a little summary of the PSP summer program for 2023. So welcome to the presentation. All right, and we shall move on. Just a quick overlook of what we're going to do. We're going to talk a little bit about the chalet program and take a quick look at the website, which is going to be new for most of you because we have a new website. A uh, little bit about how the draw works and a quick look at the chalets and the full flex program. So just a few things to do. Here's a quick look at the chalets that we have available this summer. Um, some of them you will have some of them you will recognize from previous years, some of them you will recognize from the winter program. So <laughs> there you go. Antimatter Germany is part of our winter program. We have some people there now skiing, but um, we're bringing it back into the summer program where you can do some hiking instead of skiing. Uh, we have Bahia del Mar, which is in both winter and summer. And we have a new one there in Portugal um, in Erisada. So uh, yeah. The others you would recognize if you are familiar with the summer chalets because they've been in the program for a couple of years now. So let's move on. Here's a little, here's a map just showing you briefly a little snapshot of where the chalets are actually located. There we go. This is a picture of the new website. So most of you would be familiar with CAF Connection because that's always where we would have directed you in the past. Now we are using cfmws.ca and the chalet program would be in the Europe section. So forward slash Europe. And then you can see the chalet program there and it brings you to the page where you can then go to the summer chalets, winter chalets, full flex program, evaluation forms, that type of thing. So there are posters available with more details about each of the chalets in both the summer and winter programs on the website. So again, the website is cfmws.ca forward slash Europe and navigate to the chalet program. And it's actually all the way down the bottom of the page on the Europe homepage, okay? And if you ever, if you have trouble please give me, shoot me an email at uh, plus psp.chalet at forces.gc.ca. Don't forget the plus, because if you do, I won't get the email. <laughs> Again, this is on the website on the main page of the Chalet program. Just a little overview of what the program is. Um, this year, the subsidy is anticipated to be 50%. Um, we're waiting for final confirmation on that, but I believe the subsidy will be 50%. And the number of full flexes offered this year hasn't been finalized, but it should be between 75 and 100 for the summer drop. And again, that's where you can click on the summer chalets or winter chalets to bring you to the individual locations and detailed information. How the draw works, um, you will fill out an application online. Most of you will have seen uh, chalet draws right now that are not done online because we are working on getting the new forms done on the new website. So the summer draw, the first round of the summer draw will be, hopefully, fingers are crossed, I know you can't see that, will be on the website. Um, so you will make your choices on the online form. Once you make your choices and you hit submit, they're emailed to me. You will also receive an email that tells you that your application has been received. The draw itself is all automated and uh, all participants are notified of the winners afterwards. And the winners are randomly selected uh, and we do accept one application per family. All these details are included in the email that is circulated when the draw goes live. And I will just take a quick moment now to mention that our first round for the summer season is planning to go live on February 22nd, and it should run until midnight the 7th of March. So applications will be accepted until midnight, 7 March Berlin time. 
and the draw does take place the following day. And then the winners are notified either later that day, but sometimes it's not until the following day because I do have to make sure that everything, everything is good before I notify the winners or actually notify everyone of the results. So this slide is just a couple of little important tips. For example, that if your name is selected in the draw, you do become financially responsible. Um, and it's important to note that transportation is not included to any of the chalets. Uh, we do have cancellation draw policies, so we will help you if for some reason you have to cancel. And knock on wood, to date, we've been very lucky at being able to fill all the weeks that had to be canceled. Um, if you have won a chalet week or a full flex voucher in the previous season's draw, so if you won a prize in the winter draw, you are not eligible to participate in the first round of the summer draw. However, you are eligible to participate in second or third rounds and all cancellation rounds or cancellation draws. We do anticipate there will be a second draw. There usually is. It's very unusual if there isn't one. So um, if you did win in the winter, you'd have to wait till the second or the third round in the summer. Um, and if you want to increase your chances of winning, um, you are encouraged to apply for more than just one week or one chalet. So the more options you have in there, then the better the chances you have of winning. Okay. And again, any questions, please send me an email at pluspsp.chalet at courses.gc.ca. Yeah. <laughs> This is a picture of the calendar that you will receive on February 22nd when the draw goes live. It outlines the different locations by the weeks that are available and the price. Now the price that is shown here is the 50% of the price. So this is what the winner would win if we are indeed going with 50%. <laughs> so that will all be outlined in the email that is sent out. So you can see that in the red, the numbers, those are the chalet week numbers. Full flex is always number one. So if you're applying for a full flex voucher, you would enter number one in your application. And other than that, you enter the number of the week corresponding to the chalet and the particular week that you are interested in and hoping to win. And you can submit up to 10 choices on your application. Next, we're gonna move over and take a quick look. And I do say quick look because as I said, the details of these chalets and how the bedrooms are laid out and so on and so forth is available on the website. So I'm just gonna go very quickly and kind of give you an overview of where they are, what's in the surrounding area. So the first place we are, we're in Gullin, uh, Scotland. So it's about 30 kilometers outside of Edinburgh. Um, golf is huge in this area, but that's not the only thing to do. There's lots of sandy beaches and beautiful castles and ruins to visit. So there's lots of things to see and do in the area. Here's a quick picture. This is quite a large chalet, actually. There's three double bedrooms, three, two or three bathrooms, um, big modern kitchen, eating, dining area, whatnot. Uh, airports nearby are Glasgow and Edinburgh and Newcastle. Car is recommended because you are 30 kilometers from the, from the city. And uh, if you want to get out and see the scenery, you would want a vehicle at your disposal. One thing to note, you can see looking at the picture of the chalet, there's no uh, outdoor private area. So if you have young children, there's not really an area to play right at the chalet or the house, you would uh, have to walk to a park, which is a short walk away. And pets are not in allowed. Um, in fact, I think in the summer program, only one of the chalets allows pets. And I think it's the one in Portugal. Chalet Intermer in Germany. This one you will have recognized from the winter program. It's the exact same chalet, <laughs> minus the snow. So we have Canadians there now skiing and enjoying the snow. But in the summer, there's lots to see and do, lots of hiking. Um, the views are spectacular. You can still go up a lot of the lifts so that you're able to take in the stunning scenery. Um, the apartment is on two floors. So the bedrooms are upstairs on the second floor. And there is a nice private area, outside area where you can sit down and enjoy 
the views of the surrounding Alps um, and the gardens. The airports that are mentioned there and travel by train is also possible with only three kilometers from the house. The train station is only three kilometers from the house. There are some pictures of the interior, very warm and inviting. Maximum four people, two bedrooms, um, no pull-up couches or anything like that. <laughs> On to Spain. So now we're going down into near Malaga and near Gibraltar. Actually, the Rock of Gibraltar is not far from there. Very interesting place to visit. The chalet is actually within walking distance of the beach. Uh, I think you can see that clearer in the next. Yes, there you go. You can see the sea from there. See the sea. Uh, the shared pool is there. Wonderful, well-stocked kitchen. I don't think you'll need the fireplace in the summer, but it's there. <laughs> uh, there are airports nearby, Gibraltar, Malaga. Again, I think you would want, unless you're just planning to go and stay on the beach and the pool, you would not need a car. But if you want to get out and visit any of the surrounding areas, you would probably want a car. On to Tuscany. Uh, here we are in the heart of Italy, a little ways away from Florence. Uh, lots of beautiful, beautiful things to see and do and eat and drink in this area. There is a shared pool. I will tell you that there is no air conditioning inside the apartment because these are very, this is a very, very old converted farmhouse and it is not easy, easy to uh, put in air. So there are fans to help keep you cool. And I believe there's an ice machine that they have put in for Canadians only. They actually take it out when there are no Canadians uh, in the apartment. Um, so yes, uh, easy day trips to Siena, Pisa, Florence, Volterra, uh, lots of things. Again, you will probably want a vehicle. I think the shopping is available. Yeah, then about two kilometers away for your necessities. So um, carrying groceries, water, that sort of thing, you would want a vehicle and you'd want a vehicle to be able to get out and explore the area. The airports are not too far away. Uh, Florence is about 25 kilometers and Pisa is about 70. Again, ample parking is available and no pets are allowed. All the basics are included in this apartment as far and all of them as far as towels, bed linens, kitchen supplies, that sort of thing. They're all included in the apartments. Next, we're staying in Italy, but we're moving into the city and we're going into Rome. Now, this is a location where you probably don't want a vehicle. It might actually be more of a hindrance than it would be of a help. Um, you are very close to the metro line, so you can get around easily without a vehicle. Um, Rome, what can I say? There's so much history here and so many things to see and do. Uh, beautiful, beautiful architecture, art, that sort of thing. Food and wine also very, very good. Quick picture of the apartment, which does have air conditioning. <laughs> um, and there is a, up, there's been an update to this one, which it looks like I didn't actually update on here, but it has been updated on the website. This apartment does sleep five people because they've added a, another bed to the master bedroom. So in the master bedroom, you have your queen size bed and a single bed, and then there's a queen size pull out couch in the living room. So it does sleep five. Um, and the poster has been updated, but this has not been updated. Pets are not, a, not included or not allowed. Um, and there are nearby airports. And it does mention here that uh, you can arrange with the owner shuttle from one of the local airports. And that's the case with a lot of these locations. Um, and you can discuss what is available and if the owner is available um, for your particular week when, if you have one, one of these chalets and you're in touch with the owner. So moving on out of Italy now, <laughs> we're moving over to Croatia and to Trajir, which is near Split. It's only about six kilometers, I think, from the Split airport. And you can see the stunning, stunning, stunning scenery here. And the view from the apartment is quite stunning as well. So Trajir is a UNESCO protected town. 
um, 30 kilometers from Split, but I think it's only six kilometers from the airport. So you might not need a car, but it is quite hilly. So yes, you're close to everything, but walking it can be challenging. So just keep that in mind. If you have young children, they might get a little cranky. <laughs> but there are beaches, restaurants, shopping, bars, cafes, everything a stone's throw away. Uh, a few pictures of the view and the chalet and the terrace. Two bedrooms plus the pull-out couch here. So they say, the owner says you can sleep up to six people if you have two small people on the couch. Okay, there is parking. And again, all the basics are included. Okay, and now we're moving on to Portugal. Um, Ericera, Portugal, this, uh, this apartment or apartamento was in our program a few years back and um, they've done some changes some upgrades to the apartment and it is back in the program you can see how close you are to the beaches 15 minute walk to four different beaches and a five to ten minute walk to the old town where you're going to have restaurants um, beautiful buildings cobblestone streets you're about 45 minutes from the airport and I know with this owner as well that you can discuss possible um, airport pickups and arrangements can be made with the owner. More pictures. That's a little shared plunge pool shared by the apartments, but I think most of your time, especially in the summer, is going to be spent in the water in the, at the beach in the ocean. But with young children, you might might find you'll use that little plunge pool to cool off and paddle around uh three double bedrooms you can see the owner is a is into surfing he's actually a surf instructor and may be willing to offer some surfing lessons <laughs> again that can be discussed um, pets are allowed in this property so that needs to be discussed with the owner beforehand just um so that so that they know uh yeah three bedrooms two bathrooms parking again all the basics are included in the apartment I think that's it for the apartments. And then we'll just chat a little bit about the full flex vouchers. As I said, um, there will be between 75 and 100 full flex vouchers in the first round this summer for the summer draw. Each prize is worth 250 euros. I don't think that will change, but the vouchers can be used towards the cost of your accommodations. So hotel rooms, um, vacation rental apartments from Verbo or Airbnb, RV rentals, that sort of thing. Um, your voucher is valid, excuse me, for the fiscal year. So winners have until mid-March 2024 that sounds so far away right now, <laughs> to submit your receipts. Um, you, they must be of equal or higher value than the subsidy, which is 250. And the vouchers are not transferable. So if you don't use them, if you don't submit them, you can't carry them over. Um, the money then just goes back into the European fund. So it will be used in future years. Um, winners of a full flex will receive um, the claim procedures with the SOPs and if ever you need any information about it, of course, you can just always shoot me a quick email. I'd be happy to answer. So here we have my email address. I know I keep saying it, but I am at pluspsp.chalet at forces.gc.ca. And please don't forget the plus because I won't get the email if you don't include the plus. I think Amanda has included a QR code here. Um, which will take you to the website. And I do encourage you to go to the website, navigate through the pages, look at the posters where you can get more details. But please, if you have any specific questions, whatever they may be about specific chalets, locations, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer your emails. Um, I know this presentation is in, in English, but I'm happy to answer your questions in French as well. Um, so yeah. I look forward to hearing from you and good luck in the draw, the upcoming draw, as I mentioned, going live Feb 22nd, draw being held March 8th. So good luck, everybody.